At the port of Tacoma, freight moves and so do fish. The port has restored or created more than 200 acres of habitat for salmon and other wildlife in the Puyallup watershed. Here are a few success stories. The Upper Clear Creek site establishes almost a mile of new salmon-bearing stream and habitat. It also restores wetlands. Beginning in 2019, tribal fishery staff recorded the highest Chinook returns on Clear Creek in more than 40 years. The Lower Wapato Creek project restored a stream flowing from the site to Commencement Bay that was moved and ditched in the 1960s. Around 20 acres of habitat are improved. A culvert that blocked fish passage is gone, replaced with a full span bridge. The Goglahite Habitat Area is a former landfill. The port removed contamination and developed the wetland by removing portions of a levee. The place of circling waters is a former gravel mine and landfill. The port removed contamination and built channels to connect Hylobos Creek and the Hylobos Waterway to create habitat for migrating juvenile salmon. The project at Slip 5 provides both shallow and deep subtidal habitat, allowing juvenile salmon to rear and forage as they migrate from the Puyallup River to Puget Sound. And at the mouth of the former Milwaukee Waterway, a 30-acre area connects two previously existing sand flats and provides spawning habitat and foraging opportunities for salmon, shorebirds, and waterfowl. The Port of Tacoma invests more than $200,000 every year to ensure the sites work as designed in perpetuity. Community partners help remove trash and invasive species and replace native plants as needed. It's all part of the Port's commitment to environmental leadership. Learn more at portoftacoma.com.